Good morning, everyone. This is Marcia. I'm here today to bring you some verses that the Lord was downloading to me today. I know that many of you um, have gone through very hard times, um, very much trials and, and tribulations and suffering. And um, I want to give you some verses to encourage you. And um, I myself had to repent because I have not found it joyful in the suffering that I have gone through. But as the Lord was downloading this to me, he wants us to, excuse me. Anyway, I don't wanna cry because life is hard and it can be super hard. And suffering, especially when you're suffering of any kind, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, relational, it's tough. But before I read these verses, I want to show you what my sweet son JD did. He makes me one of these yummy drinks every morning. He brews his own beans <laughs> and makes me this yummy coffee drink so that his mom can have that. I just find that so sweet. Thank you, JD. Girl, you are a dear. He does that before he goes to work in his office. Anyway, so these are the verses, starting um, with James 1. Let me put my readers on so I actually can see. Um, it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perse perseverance finish its work, so you may be mature and complete and not lack anything. So the Lord was downloading that to me. He remembers we're made of dust, and but he does want us to find joy in our suffering. I feel like that's really hard in America when we have been given so much. We have so much to be thankful for and been given so much. But that is something he downloaded to me. And then he also brought these verses to my mind and it's suffering for being a Christian. It says, dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on you to test you as though something strange were happening to you, but rejoice in as much as you participate in the suffering of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. And you know, the Lord says, um, that if they persecuted him, they'll persecute us. So we should not find that strange or surprised when we are going through really hard times of trials and tribulations and suffering and, um, but to rejoice, to rejoice in that. So I want to quick say a prayer. Um, I have been very fortunate to be surrounded by a group of very strong women who love Jesus very much and um, are there to pray with me and uphold me and also not only some very strong women, Christian women, but also my husband and my sons. My sons and my husband will pray with me and pray over me. And listen, if you ever need somebody to pray for you because you don't have that, you can private message me. I will not share it with anyone and I will pray for you. Okay? I'm... I want to do that. That would be an honor to pray for you and agree, come in an agreement um, for whatever it is that you need. Anyway, I want to quick say a prayer. Dear Father in heaven, I love you so much, God. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins, known and unknown. And Lord, I pray the blood of Jesus over me, this video, over my family, over my home, over... Uh, my friends, their children, over anybody listening to this. I pray the blood of Jesus over this and that this video will get to whoever needs to hear it today because we know that so many people are going through such hard times and you see, but you still want us to count it joy. So help us to be joyful knowing that it is producing perseverance for us and that we are running a race and that someday you will stand and say, well done, my good and faithful servant. So I pray uh, for anybody who needs prayer that um, if they want to contact me, that I will pray for them. 
because I, that is an honor to lift people up in prayer. I pray for people to truly come to Jesus as their Savior and Lord. We thank you, God, that you are the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for the sealing of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a fantastic day. Love you all. Bye.